today I'm going to be doing a game review for an educational game I used to play as a kid. Now, if you're like me, you'll instantly get turned off the minute you hear of educational games, especially when their reputation is uh, not so great. However, this is a game that has not only surpassed my expectations, but I would highly recommend for parents to get for their kids. The name of this game? Orly Draw Story. This game was made by Brotherbund, which is pretty cool considering the fact that they made other great classics such as... Uh, oh. Well, sometimes you gotta start somewhere. It's also worth mentioning ToeJam & Earl Productions credits in the beginning of the week because I have quite a few memories with the ToeJam & Earl video games from the Sega Genesis. When you first pop in the game, you're presented with the cutscene introducing the two main characters, Orly, an 8-year-old Jamaican girl who claims to have an overactive imagination, and Lancelot, a really cool frog who is Orly's best friend. Ribbit, man. Oh, yes, and he says that too. After you learn about the two from that cutscene, you'll be presented with a list of stories to choose from. They're all pretty unique in their own little way, though some are pretty cheesy and even cringe-worthy at times. I'm a handsome prince, I'm a handsome prince, I'm a handsome prince, prince, prince. But for a kid, nothing here was too out of vogue. One story is about the mysterious man who wishes to, to fall in love with a princess who has a ton of thirsty men around her. Another is about Orly telling Lancelot not to eat a bug because the bug might have a story to tell. Or many. There's another story about Worley trying to cheer up Lancelot because of his depression, and the last is about Worley going on an adventure to save Lancelot on her birthday. Now that I think about it, Lancelot seems to be a pain in the ass these days. Ribbit, man. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he's, he's still cool. Sadly, as you may have noticed, there's actually only four stories to choose from, and that really subtracts from the possible stories that could have been made. This isn't something I'm too nitpicky about, especially considering the fact that this is a children's game, but I, was, I remember being a little heartbroken as a kid, seeing that I enjoyed so many of the stories so much that I, I didn't want it to end so soon. Though, that's not to say that the stories provided are cheap, they're actually pretty good. Some humorous, and some can even help kids learn about perception. One of my favorite parts of the beginning of the story of Lancelot's depression, where you draw what he sees himself as in his reflection. This can give kids a sense of empathy and understanding on how people feel when they are depressed, because, comically, you can go all out. Since I've mentioned the drawing aspect, I might as well get the main point to the game. Throughout your adventures, you can draw various things from the story, such as characters, items, vehicles, and other miscellaneous things. Sometimes, you'll even get asked to draw certain emotions and different variations of a character or condition in which the item is in. This opens the door to all kinds of options, and you will be accompanied by Orly and Lancelot to give you commentary on that and surprisingly, I find it rather welcoming. They give critiques on your drawings and ideas on what to draw. There's even a window you can open that can give you a few examples to go based off of if you're having trouble figuring out what to draw. I really like this feature and it fits well into this game. You probably have noticed these two guys doping around over here. They're what Orly refers to as the Rastas, Undo and New. Undo is, well, oops, what the? And new is who you go to if you despise your creation and wish to start over. They like to comment on things within the environment as well, and they'll even get into little disputes here and there. It's pretty funny, actually. Though, my only complaint are the lack of a redo button, because undo is your redo button. Click on him again, and redo the last thing you did, but you can't undo several things that you did in the past. This can become an apparent problem, when flies and other gags get in the way, and you're trying to just get them to go away so you can finish your drawing, only to find that you have two or more dots that you can only delete one of with the undo roster. Though not all gags are annoying, and sometimes they're actually pretty funny. It's just that sometimes they get in the way. The tools that you are given work really well, and they're pretty responsive here. The pencil actually works better than the pencil in another Brother Run game, Kid Picks. This is because the drawings rely on you to connect the lines so that you can use the paint option. You can paint within the lines without messing up. The pencil doesn't require you to be pixel perfect when connecting the lines, and for a kid's game, this adds a few more points to simplicity to the game in a good way. It lets you be a little loose at times. The paint options are available in a large variety of colors, and you were given the option to use different patterns if you please. 
Once you're done, ring the bell and watch your creation come to life. The things that you can come with with are limited to only you and you only. The game can provide as much story and environment as possible, but you are the only thing that gives the game the full experience that it was meant to be. You can either conform to the humor the game has to offer, or you can implement your own humor into the mix. Now, the presentation to the game is phenomenal. I remember being sucked into this world that Orly has illustrated before me. The atmosphere is very charming and very colorful. The graphics are gorgeous for an early educational title from Broderbund. The music. Where do I even begin? The music is like sweet, delicious candy to my ears. The constant upbeat reggae and steel drum mix in this game has probably left a subconscious effect on me forever. It has changed me subconsciously forever for the rest of my life. There is a good chance that it made some sort of major impact on me because 15 years later, I'm in a ska band and reggae is a huge part of my life. Without this game, Autistic Chainsaw would have most likely never been a thing to begin with. The soundtrack is available on YouTube for viewers to listen to under the username Obscure and Foreign Radio, which by the way, Obscure and Foreign is the YouTube channel that I took these video clips from. Thank you, by the way. But why did I take clips from another channel? Why didn't I just download the software? Well, you see, unfortunately, I have a newer system, and it seems that the software compatible of running this game is outdated. If you're planning to get this game for your kids, you might want to look into the compatibility of this game first, and then see if the operating system can run this thing. Overall, Orly Draw Story is a fantastic game with all sorts of quirks and gimmicks that can keep your kids entertained for a good while. It's creative enough to open all sorts of possibilities for your kids to invest to themselves into, but I feel that there could have been a few more stories added to the mix and a few more tools implemented for the perfect drawing experience. I feel that these things are a missed opportunity to into the mix. Hopefully Broderbund can redo this game and make a re-release for those who wish to play this on their newer operating systems. Now, before I close, I wish to present one more basic thought. Not only is this game a personal favorite of mine as a child, but I think it can benefit multiple children in the long run. See, when I was little, I was left alone quite a, quite a bit often. And I mean, it's nothing new. I mean, most children are left alone because their parents have to go to work all day, uh, or, you know, maybe, maybe their parents just don't know how to be parents, so they socially neglect their children. It's important for children to have a creative tools, uh, such as crayons and coloring books, paper, glue, colored pencils, markers, scissors, and other things, so that they can eventually grow up to be creative and critical thinkers. That way, thinking outside the box can develop into problem-solving skills. Without parents around, and this is nearly impossible to accomplish. And that's why I suggest that if you want to give your children the best creative exposure possible, I highly recommend this game entirely. Another good game is Amazing Island, made by Sega, for the Nintendo GameCube, where you can draw your own 3D model monsters to compete in different kinds of mini-games. And I highly recommend that one as well. But I find it more important that if you're a parent and you want to see your kids grow up creative, I think it's important that you seek something as basic and simple as Orly Draw Story. It's simple and basic enough to keep them involved for hours, and they'll definitely benefit from this in the long run. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw, and have a great day.